Sometimes cis and trans doesn't work for an alkene, and you need an E or a Z designation. This molecule is trans-2-butene. It's trans because the methyl groups are trans to each other, or the hydrogens are trans to each other. So we can call that trans-2-butene with no problem. What about this molecule? The methyl is trans to the ethyl, but the methyl is cis to the isopropyl. Do we call this cis or trans? Well, neither one applies. How do we differentiate it from its diastereomer? In the diastereomer, the methyl is trans to the isopropyl, the hydrogen is trans to the ethyl. There's got to be a better way than writing a paragraph about each one to describe it. And in fact, there is. And it is the EZ designation. To apply the EZ designation, first bisect the double bond. Right, and in doing this, you want to separate the two sp2 carbons from each other. So we're talking about down the middle of the double bond like that. Now we've got an sp2 carbon on either side of our separation. Now, on each one of those sp2 carbons, you're going to prioritize the groups using the Kahn Ingold prelog system. So for the carbon on the left, methyl beats hydrogen. For the carbon on the right, isopropyl beats ethyl. And now you just see where the A's are pointing, that is where the higher priority groups are pointing. For the molecule on the left, both high priority groups are pointing up. That means they're together, or zusammen in German. For the molecule on the right, they're pointing in opposite directions. One's pointing up, the methyl group's pointing up, and the isopropyl group is pointing down. So these two, this one is entgegen, which is German for separate. So then to name this compound, first I would number it. I'd make the methyl group number one to give my double bond the lowest possible locant. And so I've got my parent chain is pent2ene. I've got an ethyl group on carbon three, and I've got a methyl group on carbon four. So this is E, three ethyl, four methyl, pent two ene. The molecule on the left is Z, three ethyl, 4-methyl, pent, 2-ene. Here's an exercise for you. Name this molecule. Pause your video. Work the problem once you've got the name written down. Resume to check your answer. So we'll start by numbering. This is carbon 1, this is 2, this is 3, 4, and 5. Again, the parent is pent2ene. As far as substituents go, we've got a bromine on carbon 3. So that means 3 bromo pent 2 ene. But then how do we differentiate it from this molecule?
which is also 3 bromo pent 2 ene. Well, we see that the high priority groups on each of the sp2 hybridized carbons are pointing in the same direction here. So that means this is the Z stereoisomer. And the one we just drew must be the E stereoisomer. Let's check. Up, down. That's separate, so it's E.